What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we got a line integral problem. And there's no tricks to this one. There's no theorems you can use. You just got to solve it straight up. And this is a hard question, so I'm gonna show you guys how to solve it. It, it uh, tripped me up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So first we wanna plot our region, what our line is gonna be. So it says it's this parabola from zero negative one to zero one. So let's go ahead and figure out what it's gonna look like. Okay, so let's start with plotting our points. So we have zero negative one, which is here, and then zero one, which is up here. And it's x is equal to one minus y squared. So if you plug in like y is equal to zero, you're gonna get x is equal to one. So it's gonna be the parabola that kind of looks like this, right? So, and it goes this way, so don't forget about that. Okay, so this is, uh, how are we gonna, how are we gonna define this region? We need to make a line, we have to reparameterize this in terms of arc length, right? So, how are we gonna do this? Well, let's, let's go ahead and look at this function here. x is equal to one minus y squared. What I like to do when I'm doing these is you're gonna set, you're like, uh, if you have one variable by itself, don't set that to t. You wanna set whatever else is equal to t. So we have this negative y squared. What we wanna do is, let's just set y is equal to t. I'm gonna show you why this works. So if you say y is equal to t, and we are given this function, x is equal to one minus t squared. This is what we want, right? So what we can actually just go ahead and do is say, uh, r of t, which is our function, our uh, line integral, basically, or not our line integral, but our line, is equal to one minus t squared t. And this is way simpler than any other way you can do it. So trust me, and if, this, if you, if you uh, try new things and they don't work, just try other things. If you, get, if you end up with an integral that's way too complicated, you're gonna figure that out really quick. And just, uh, you should give up from there and like try to find a better one, because usually there's a simpler solution. And also, this goes from negative one to one. That's what this integral goes from. So you can plug in, if you have a negative one, uh, your x is gonna be zero, and your y is gonna be one, or negative one, and then it goes all the way to that point. So it works perfectly. So that's how we redefine it. So let's go ahead and say r, r prime of t. Oh, wow, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did there, whoa. Okay, that's r prime of t, trust me. So this is gonna be negative two t one, obviously. All right, now I actually have all of the things we need to set up our integral. So what we need to do is reparameterize our function, our uh, force field with, in terms of this here. So let's do that. Let's just set up our integral though. So it goes from negative one to one, right? So we have our thing, so we have y squared, or y to the third. So what is y to the third? Well, it's gonna be t to the third because y is equal to t. But then dx, you have to plug in this, so it's gonna be negative two t. And then plus, actually, I'm not doing this right. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm not doing that right. And then it's gonna be plus x squared. So you're gonna have to factor out this. So it's gonna be t to the fourth minus two t squared plus one. But then multiply it by dy, which is just one, so perfect, dt. And this is it. All right, so now we have to simplify this and we can solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm bringing a chair over. I'm not sitting on the floor today. Okay. All right, so we can see that this is gonna be negative uh, two t to the fourth, and we have one t to the fourth, so it's gonna be negative t to the fourth is how this is gonna simplify. So this is gonna be negative t to the fourth, and then we have a negative two t, so minus two t plus one dt. All right, I'm gonna go over here to solve this. Uh, so we can just do some power rule for this part. So it's gonna be equal to, so negative t to the fifth over five minus t squared plus t from negative one to one. This is gonna be equal to, so it's gonna be negative one fifth minus one plus one. Hold up, I to check my notes. <laughs> Make sure I'm doing this right. I don't have my notes for this, do I? Hold up, <laughs> I forgot to bring the square down. I knew something was wrong. Okay, integral is not equal to that. It's equal to negative t to the fifth over five minus two t to the third over three plus one, plus t actually, from a negative one to one. All right, forgive me. All right, so now we can solve this. Negative one fifth minus two thirds plus one minus negative minus minus one fifth minus negative minus two thirds and then what's going to happen to this plus one it's going to be minus negative one so plus one and then this is going to be equal to oh uh, i don't want to figure this out but i know i have to all right negative three fifteenths minus ten right you multiply three by ten or by five so it gives you 
15 plus 15 over 15 minus, and then you can multiply this by two. Okay, what is this gonna be? So it's gonna be two over 15 times two is equal to four over 15. And that's your final answer. So that's how you reparameterize this. Honestly, the hardest part of this was reparameterizing this curve. But uh, if you just follow what I gave you, you know, set the set the like the harder function, just set like this equal to t, and then you can have the whole system just for the x turns into t. And it's gonna be way simpler that way. So uh, yeah, that's how you kind of solve these problems. And uh, yeah, good luck on your calc homework, guys.